Rotor Ops allows you to create missions for you to play in DCS with helicopters, basically. And yes, you can use the Black Hawk mod, which as you know, is not an official module. So that is pretty cool. You can download Rotorops at the official website. I will leave the link down in the video description. Click on the download mission generator button on top of the website. You will find two options. One of them is for you to download Rotorops final version. And the other one is for you to download the beta version of the software. Let's just download the regular version. Once you download it, you will get an 81 megabyte file. Inside that file, you'll find a folder. And inside that folder, you'll find, of course, other folders and files. Just unzip the file to any location that you want. It's really irrelevant. In my case, it's inside the D drive in games Rotorops main folder. Inside that folder, you'll find the executable file. Just double click it. Wait a few seconds since the startup can take a while. You then be presented with the main screen. So you can define the blue forces, red forces, the enemy attack helicopters, attack planes, transport helicopters, etc. etc. And then you just have to hit the generate mission button. Once you do that, the program will let you know where the mission file is located. It's really not hard to find it's inside a folder called output which is inside another one called generator which by its turn it's inside the main program folder to actually play the mission you have a couple of choices you can use the mission menu on dcs or you can use the mission editor which is actually the one that i prefer because i can tweak a bit more settings including change the helicopter that i want to use so inside the dcs mission editor open a mission head out to the folder that was indicated on the software when you created the mission open the file wait a few seconds seconds and you have the mission created. As you can see, there are a lot of units and two airfields being used. You have Charlie, Bravo and Alpha Point, as well as a couple of bases. On the southmost base, we have a few helicopter units, including a UE, an Apache, a KE-50 and a Mi-24. You can, of course, change any of these helicopters. And I'm actually going to change one of them for the Blackhawk. So I just click on one of the helicopters. I change to the UH-60L and I will start the mission. We are then presented with a list of possible aircraft that we can get into, which includes the Blackhawk. But here's the thing, the Blackhawk is not turned on, so the engine is off. We can, of course, change that, and I will do that right away. We go back into the mission editor, select the Blackhawk, and instead of takeoff from ramp, we'll choose takeoff from parking hot. Launch the mission again, and as you can see, the engine is now turned on. To actually perform the missions, you have to access the comms menu, and you can tell troops to embark, disembark, and do other things things, you can actually also destroy some tanks and other units. It's pretty simple to use the software, it's pretty simple to fly the missions, and I am sure it will add up a lot to your DCS playing. Don't you forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and I am sure that this software will give you a lot of different missions and a lot of fun in DCS. I'll be seeing you all on the next video, thank you very much for watching, until then take care and fly safe.